Hmm. Is it a real blessing that I finally got the answer? You got to have to believe to bitch out of God. Oh, how people are walking and living in misery without hope. And so many so-called churches lying people. Exactly, let me ask you. What do you think you have to do to go to heaven? What do you think you have to do to become a child of God? What do you think you have to do to be saved? What exactly do you think you have to do so that when you die, you spend your eternity in heaven. What do you have to do to have eternal life right now? It's very simple. What do you have to do to be born again? What is it do you think Jesus Christ was telling Nicodemus to do to be born again? Do you realize that this is the same story in John chapter 3? That I must be born again? In verse 15, in fact, before the verse, Jesus reminds Nicodemus of Moses in the wilderness when the children of Israel were beaten by serpents. Moses went to the Lord and told the Lord about the problem they had. And God told Moses to get one of the serpents and hang it on a stick on the tree. And anyone who would be bitten by the snake, by the serpent, and Believe that when he looks at that hanging serpent on a stick, that it would be healed. And any of them who did that would be healed. Who could get healed? And Moses told the people, and he did that. And so record. And any who did that got healed. But those who, do not, who didn't believe Moses died. And it comes in John chapter 3, verse 15, and Jesus said, That he who believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. That he that believeth in him should not perish but. Let me read for you. For you. Is it not a blessing? What does one has to do not to perish? See verse 15. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Perishing is going to the lake of fire. It's going to hell, the lake of fire. So for one not to perish has to believe. Not to go to church. Not to repent. Not to walk to Namugongo, not to go for rituals, not to be baptized, not even to do it, just to believe in Him, in Jesus. But then the Bible also goes and said, but that the Bible says that not perish, but have eternal life. Have, not will have, not may have, but have. Now, it not because they believe. See verse 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. That's what the Bible says. You believe in Jesus Christ, you sure there is no perishing. You only have to believe. The things you've been hearing, people telling you, they are not true. My friend, the only thing you got to do to have eternal life is just believing. Just believing. You have eternal life 
right now you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the one who died for your sin. But what if I sin? The Bible says you have eternal life when you believe. Salvation comes by believing. Believing. Then you have eternal life. Only, you only have to believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Not will not, not may not, but should not. If you, don't, you read the Bible, it says may not, would not, that's not a Bible. God is very clear. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you should not, must not perish. But you have eternal life. Now, if someone says, let me ask you a question before I say this. How long is the eternal life? How long is the everlasting life? How long is the eternal life? Thank you. Forever. It's everlasting. It's forever life. It has no end. So if you have it, do you have an end? No. If you have it, can you lose it? No. It's eternal life. If I can lose it, then I don't have it. If I can lose it, then it cannot be called eternal life. So if I can lose it, that means God is a liar. Because God says, if I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, shall be saved. So if I believe, according to John 3, 16, for God so loved the Lord, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in, in him should not perish, and then I believe I perish, that God, that means God is a liar. But we know in Titus chapter 1, verse 2, the Bible says, that in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie, promised before the world began. Listen, God can't lie. God says you believe in Jesus Christ, you have eternal life. That's what he says. Is that a blessing? Now you get it. John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth. What truth? That Jesus is only Savior. He says the way, the truth, and life. And he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. When you know that when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he has saved completely, and you have eternal life, you are saved free. See verse 17 of John 3. For God is sent in his, for God is sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus didn't come to us to say, you sinners, you got hell. You, you, you pursuit, you got hell. You drink alcohol, you got hell. You are mad. No. Jesus didn't come here to condemn us. For God is an only son into the world to condemn the world. God did not send Jesus Christ to us, to condemn us, but that the world through him might be saved. See verse 18. Verse 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. Let me ask a question. If you believe on Jesus Christ, Jesus, and, 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 then, and then you do wrong, are you condemned? The answer is no. Because God says, if you believe on Jesus Christ, you're not condemned. When you read in Romans chapter 8, let me, let me read for you Romans 8 verse 1. When I keep on talking those verses without reading, maybe may think I'm getting them in my head. Let me just let me just read for you Romans 8 1. Romans chapter 8, verse 1, the Bible says this. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Listen, this is what the Bible says. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Why? Because Jesus Christ on the cross was condemned on our behalf. Now this does not teach that we go sinning. No, 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 no. God doesn't say go sinning, go sinning because Jesus died for you. No. Even Jesus said, God tells us in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, my little children, these things write unto you that he sin not. But if he says, these things are written unto you that he sin not. God doesn't want us to be he wants us to be sinning. God tells us in Hebrew that he chastens every son who made a savior. He tells for sin, he disciplines us, but he never throws his children to the of fire because they sinned. John chapter 2 verse 1 says that uh, uh, my children, my little children, the things right unto you that is sin not. But if any man sin, we have another forget with the Father, Jesus Christ of righteous. You see, when you sin, there is a devil in heaven accusing our God. 
But the Jesus Christ, like the lawyer, who's saying, I'm righteous, I died for your sin, leave them alone. There is never for now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. John 3 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned. You believe in Jesus Christ, you're not condemned. Watch this. But he that believeth not is condemned already. So who is he that is condemned? He that believeth not. Who is he that is condemned? I mean, he the, who is he that is not condemned? He that believes in the Lord Jesus Christ is not condemned. But who is he that is condemned already? He that believeth not. Now, why is this person condemned just because he doesn't believe? Why? Because he does not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Why is this person condemned? It's because on the cross, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 8, the Bible tells that by God commands, he shows, it, it demonstrates, he illustrates his love towards us in that while we are yet sinners, where do sinners go when they die? They go to hell. So when we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. What did Jesus do? Paid in for our day. He died for us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, for I delivered unto you that which I also received, how that Christ Jesus died for our sins, according to, according to the scriptures. And verse 4 tells us that Jesus Christ rose again from the grave. He is not in the grave. He's in heaven waiting for you to call on Jesus. If they believe in him, to be saved, he that believeth on him is not condemned. When you see verse 36 of John chapter 3, the Bible tells you, you believe in Jesus Christ, you have your blessed life. But if you don't believe, the wrath of God abideth on you. You see, the problem is not repentance. The problem is not going to church. The problem is not, is not prostitution. The problem is not lying or drinking or doing. The problem is not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something. It doesn't matter whether you're born in the church. It doesn't matter whether you're born by a Christian man or woman. It doesn't matter what you've got, what you've headed, who you are. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, right now if you die, you go to hell. And God doesn't want to go to hell. Jesus Christ died for you. So when you believe in him right now, today, you can have a blessing life. Listen, you can have a question of me, ask me anytime. You have any question, you want to know something, let me know. But the Bible tells us you can know for sure, for sure, that you can die and go to heaven today. If in case you die, but if you die 100 years, you can still be believing with assurance that when you die, you go to heaven. Because First John chapter 5, verse 13 is very clear with us. Even verse 10, verse 9, verse 12, it tells us for sure, you can know. And verse 13 says, the things are written unto you, uh, these things are written unto you that believe in the name of the Son of God and that may know that you have eternal life and that you believe in the name of the Son of God. When you believe in the name of the Son of God, you know you have eternal life. You know that. You know. You get saved by believing. It's believing. It's not even a confession that people say in John, in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. It's not even a confession. The way they say it, the confession the Bible talks about is not saying, I lied, I stole. No, 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 no. You can never confess all your sins. You don't even remember them. The Bible tells us it's not by confession. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, the Bible says, that if thou shalt confess the mouth of the Lord Jesus, it never says you confess your mouth, your sins. Come on. You confess your mouth, the Lord Jesus. What does what confess mean? The word confess clearly means to acknowledge, to admit. Acknowledging what? That the wages of sin is day. Acknowledging that for all of sin, you are among the all. That is none righteous, no, not one. Acknowledging that all liars. Oh, adulterers, the watchmen and believers and fearful, they shall have the pardon and the liquid bondage of the fire and the brimstone, which is the second death. That's what Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 tells us. Knowing that you deserve nothing but to die and go ahead according, according, to, uh, uh, according to Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4. 18, Ezekiel 18, verse 4, the Bible tells us, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father, also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth shall die. God is not talking about this flesh. God is talking about your soul, your inner man, your inner person that you've seen. And listen, your soul to go to heaven must believe on Jesus Christ. It is your soul. Your soul is already known as a heart. Your heart, according to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse, verse 9, the Bible says, 
the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. If you think you can use your heart to the good, you know, your heart, never. The Bible says in verse 10 of Jeremiah 17, 10, that only the Lord such a heart. He knows your heart. That is not right with God. Uh, the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 10, there's none righteous, no, no one. Read one. I mean, verse 11, verse 12. There's, there's none that does good. No, no one. No one even understands God. Nobody. My dear friend, your hope to go to heaven is in Jesus. And your hope to go to hell is with thee. Reject Jesus. Never believe in him. Do all good things. You're going to be in hell. And after the hell will be thrown in the lake of fire, according to Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, my dear. The only hope to go to heaven is believing in Jesus Christ because salvation is a gift. It's not what you work for, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of a it is a gift of God, not of works, it is any man should boast. Salvation is a gift, not of works. If someone bought your sword, you just believe to receive it, not believe to pay for it, because you already paid for it. That's why it's a gift to you. Jesus paid on the cross for our sins. And our sins are for Jesus, and his righteousness is for us. You receive his righteousness when you believe on him. In Romans chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. You see, for with the heart man believeth, not the repentance, believeth. Okay? Not prayeth, but believeth. Not stop sinning, but believeth. To receive the righteousness in his heart. And salvation, and with mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verse 7 tells us that, that for service shall call upon the name of the Lord. Anyone who calls on Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us, the scripture says, that anyone who calls on Jesus, anyone who believes on Jesus Christ, shall not be ashamed. Because for service shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved, shall not be, shall not, shall be saved, according to the Bible. The Bible tells us you can be saved. In John 1 the Bible tells us, but as men have received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. We know that even in the Old Testament, anyone who got saved, who's in heaven, either David, Jeremiah, Elisha, Abraham, it was all by faith. My dear, order to hear, if you have no faith, if it's not by believing, it's not then salvation. Listen to us. Write a comment down there. Ask any question. Give us a call. Write a message. Find the truth. Look for us, Gospel about Church. We teach you the truth. We show you from the Bible. When you die, where you go? For the Bible is very clear. God wants you to know. Because he loves you. That's why Jesus came on the cross. To seek and save that which was lost. For the angel told Joseph, Letting him know who was in Mary in Matthew 1 21 and says that Mary, for she shall bring forth a son, thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus is the Savior. You want to know that? Acts 4 12. The Bible says only by believing to be saved, not by going to church, not by baptism, not by reading Bible. I'm not saying those things are bad, but they cannot save you. We are not saved by good works. Titus chapter 3 verse 5. But we are saved by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not intellectual belief, but the believing that without Jesus Christ you can't make it in heaven. He's the only one who died for your sins and wants to call me to save you. Come into your heart and cleanse from sin and give his righteousness because he did it. And thou shalt be saved. Please let us know. Text me. Write a comment down there. Call us, look for a church, and we'll show you the truth and where you'll die. I mean, where you'll go when you die. And the Bible tells you, He that believeth on the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. It's only by believing that you make it to heaven.